This 2022 Defender X Dynamic SE just arrived off of that truck. Just got here. Do a quick little walk around for you. This is Iger Gray, I believe. Iger Gray, I could be wrong. I got sunglasses on. Was it silicone silver? That's Iger Gray. Gloss black 20s, extended black pack, so all your bumpers is all black, lettering, grill, all of this here is all gloss black, gloss black on the bumper. It is an X Dynamic, surround camera, LED headlights, they're adaptive. This one does have third row. This lever up here, slide the seat up, and then third row is hidden back there. It does fold flat. Three zone climate with your USB ports. Some of the USBs here. Back side of the seat. This one has a signature black back, so the A pillar here. This is black black box opposed to being body colored rubber mats carpet mats and extra coat hanger here and three zone climate adjustments here vents up top with your safari windows and then this one does have air suspension so you can raise and lower the car from here to make it easier to load Spare tire on the back. Clear exit monitor here for your passengers as they get out of the car. It warns you if a car is coming. Defender um, door sill plate here lights up at night. It's hot, so I'm going to turn this thing on. Full interactive driver display with 11.4 inch screen and rear side camera. washer fluid and tire breaker. 7,000 miles in this car. See, no cooled seats, but it does have heat. Wireless charging here. Nice storage here. USBs for storage. Heat is steering wheel, so it has the uh, cold climate pack. And this is the range leather, the 12 point seats. Just needs a good detail. Full panoramic sunroof, some glass holder. Classic mud flaps as well, it's a nice touch. Standard all defenders as well. This is going to be off road height now. It's going to go up another about an inch and a half, two inches. And it can wade up to three feet almost of water. And this uh, 
off-road hike. Not that you want to go through that much water, but you can. The car has built-in sonar. Um, under the weight sensing. selected and go in here go to 4x4 info so you can see that it goes through just almost three feet two feet 11 and off-road height um, and then as I adjust the air suspension the weight depth has changed so to axis height. As you can see there are a total of five inches of raising and lowering. Um, this axis height is nice for getting in and out of the car. You can have it set up to you know raise and lower for you. So we go uh, here, vehicle, convenience, vehicle access, you can have it drop for you every time you turn the car off so it's easy to get in and out. So, anyway, looks like this car needs an update. We'll do that, get that knocked out, uh, and then we'll check out uh, surround camera here before we end the video. Pretty neat. You can use the arrows or you can select individual cameras here. You also click on the off-road icon, then you have cameras that look directly down at your wheels there then you have the clear sight through your hood so if I'm driving forward put the car in drive it will show us what's directly below us because it records of course you have wireless Apple CarPlay as well and Android Auto, Bluetooth, in control, uh, apps on your phone so you can remote start the car, lock it, unlock it, etc. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.